All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to leave the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to pick the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good jab. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 172 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Chip? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, 
Boxes. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right on the button. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. There's the kick. It's blocked. Oh, yeah, right hand. Shot lands. Punch coming, it's blocked. You can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside, because otherwise it's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. Another clinch position. Watch for the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. Some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. 
Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Big punch land. Ooh. Powerful leg kick land. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Got the single collar tie. Two right hook to the body. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Unable to land with that punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Three minutes to go in round two. different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, perfect combination. Nice punch, Lance. Ooh, head kick, Lance is hurt. And he landed the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Connects with the right. <laughs> Unable to land the head kick there. Oh man, that leg's all beat up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Punch is blocked. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Right hand on point. Nice head kick. Kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. You got to check these low leg kicks. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Single collar tie now. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Get back on your toes a little bit. Here's your bounce. Stop popping that jab in his face. 
All right, the action continues here and now as our next Ready? round gets Ready? underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. He blocks the punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Good punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice leg kick. And if you take one of them, if you end the night, that would land it right on the spot. Oh, big left. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Nice body kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. It's a good right hand right there. Massive head kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice strike. Big head kick lands. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Plans a nice one, too. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Big roundhouse now, just misses. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Big body kick lands. Big kick lands. Oh, and he gets... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. earlier the aggression with his striking gotta be careful to not gas out here but at least you have to admire the approach Stay sharp. 
Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You have the power to put this guy down. Just show that nobody's not him down. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Blocks the shot. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch here. Superman punch. See, you don't really understand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such hustle to even be on his feet right now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! Beautiful kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Oh, nice. Nice straight punch. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over three minutes to go now. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That was a nice break. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 19 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.